I suppose working backwards, I've been in the UK for the last five years, um, been with Wasps in the Premiership for three, and uh, before that two years as head coach in Nottingham. Um, so that was takes me back to 15, 16, which is the year I left here. Um, I suppose six years with the senior side, working under Tony, Rob Penny and Axel, lucky enough to work with three head coaches. Um, before that full time with Bowes, and then that takes me back to my academy days, which kind of, I suppose, completes the full circle. Um, so going back 12 years, 12, 13 years to, to where I started and really delighted to be back working with the, with the Munster Academy. It's incredible to be home, you know, Limerick is my home, Munster is my home. Um, and as a family, we've had an incredible experience for five years. Um, it's something where we've, we've got an awful lot out of, you know, my wife Louise, my kids and myself professionally to work in, in two different environments has been, has been invaluable. Um, but it is fantastic to come home uh, and it feels right even though I've only been here six, seven weeks. And it's just a privilege for me to, you know, to come back in and be part of something like the Academy that you know has a hand or has an influence in the next generation of players coming through and you know after maybe 11 years coaching professionally this feels like a really good fit now to uh, to be part of you know such an exciting project and ensuring the sustained success of Munster going forward and it's something that I'm uh, really excited uh, about going forward. Obviously my job you know is to is to lead the academy program um, and look I think what's what I really enjoy and what's so challenging about that role is, is how much it encompasses in that we have you know, summer programmes, we have 20 squads, 19 squads, uh, all competing in interprovincials at the moment, um, as well as the academy players that you know, pretty much train full time with the seniors. And then in between you have uh, an NTS and a PTS programme. NTS is our national talent squad, uh, essentially replace the old sub-academy and PTS then would be a wider net where you might pick up late developers, provincial talent squad, um, and it just makes sure that we're spreading our net wide enough and we're not missing any quality talent coming through. I'm really excited to work with the, the clubs and schools again, and it's, look, it's a huge part of, of the success in the past of Munster Rugby. And again, I think hopefully that my, my, my fit, having worked all along the pathway, allows me to you know, connect and build relationships with those you know, vital stakeholders. And, and that's one of the first things that you know, from a club point of view, because obviously it's in the summer, I've looked at reconnecting with all the clubs and then in September look at doing that with the schools and they're a vital part of what we do going forward. And again, it's making sure that we leave no stone unturned in terms of uh, talent development and talent ID and, and involving the clubs and schools as part of that really important process. I think it's been an incredibly successful year for the academy in that nine players you know, went into the senior squad, which is uh, you know, a massive success uh, by any standards. And I think it's looking to build on that in terms of the throughput of players and, and producing players that transition into senior contracts. So that's the first priority. Um, as you said, at the moment, we don't have a full intake. And with COVID, um, what I've come to realise, it was very challenging, you know, the, um, I suppose with the traditional systems in terms of development and identification in place, a lot of challenges around that. So we probably don't know the next group of players as much as we normally would. So, you know, we did things like put them, um, you know, the next level of players, the 19, 20 year olds into camp over here at, at North Campus. And we spent eight weeks with, with them from a development point of view and also identifying the next tier of the academy. So that's the unique challenge at this time. I'm six, seven weeks in the job and I've just really had an opportunity, especially in the last week, to see them train with the senior team. Um, up to that point, it was probably, you know, very much uh, strength and conditioning work and isolated skill work and the three of them had a, a good couple of weeks. Um, you know, Mark and Daniel had uh, you know, a pretty successful campaign with the 20s, did really well to, to perform and get a lot of game time and uh, excited to have them in the group. And then Ethan uh, as a scrum half, um, you know, Ethan uh, again was unlucky with injury at key times, not getting into that 20s group. So like all three of them, they've got hopefully a bright future in front of them. Um, and they form up hopefully what is an exciting, or they form part of what is an exciting academy group for the season. I think sometimes when you go away for, for a number of years um, and you know, there's, there's, I suppose, if you come back with a fresh set of eyes and, and the work ethic here is, is, is so impressive. Um, and you know, uh, how diligent the players are and the staff are around their preparation, the level of detail, um, you know, just the quality of work that goes in right across the high performance centre. And I think that's always hopefully going to be a monster point of difference. So our job is to make sure that the academy understand 
what's involved and what's required at performing at the top level. So I suppose the likes of, you know, uh, Gavin and Craig that have gone on to play for Ireland have set the, have laid the path for others. Um, so I think that point of difference is, is very much around the work ethic and discipline that comes with that.